All right, so ever since um, the coronavirus has been a thing, I've seen a lot more people outside, which is really, really awesome. There's a lot less traffic. There's a lot less pollution in the air, which is really awesome. What's up, y'all? So right now, me and my sister are shopping, and things have escalated. Excuse me. Things have escalated here. The apocalypse? Huh? Are you making a vlog unless we go into the apocalypse? Can you let me talk so I can do an intro to this video? Hashtag. Things have escalated in Arizona. There's um, over 600 cases now, and they're doubling almost every day. I don't care. You can get those chips. Um, I'm not sick. I'm just taking preventive measures. So I'm wearing face mask and gloves. I don't this even know. Crazy. And my sister, she's wearing gloves. Um, she made me. But yeah, um, we're just shopping at Walmart. Oh God, no! Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the coronavirus. Today is the 28th, um, and tomorrow is actually my mom's birthday, and we're going to be celebrating her birthday during quarantine, which really sucks. I feel really bad because. We had plans to go and take her to Benihana's and do like a really nice birthday dinner for her. Unfortunately, all of the restaurants over here are closed and they're only doing like pick up and take out and that's not really the same. And plus like when you go to Benihana's or like a restaurant similar to that style, you pay more for the experience than you do for the food. So as of recently, um, I got laid off of my job right when this whole coronavirus thing started. So I've been unemployed now for about two weeks. Some research and almost 3 million people are unemployed right now, um, which is crazy. That's a lot of people. And basically the only places that are open are like fast food restaurants, some casual restaurants like Olive Garden and all of those, but they're only doing pickup and deliveries. Um, and like some retail stores not all of them but some of them are still open yesterday i had to go to a store with masks and gloves on because of how bad things are getting and right now i'm at highest risk because i have a heart disease um so for me it's really really tough to go out we keep having these um soaring numbers in confirmed cases for the coronavirus and it's crazy because like here in the united states like we don't have enough test kits to test everyone. And it's scary because all of these numbers are soaring and they keep getting higher and higher, but it's all because we don't have all of the tests that we need. Turns out there's gonna be so many unconfirmed cases that are actually like real cases that people have of the coronavirus. And we also just passed China as the number one country with the most confirmed coronavirus cases. We are just starting to get locked down and starting to get shut down and like have restrictions put on us and all of this stuff. So it's kind of hard for people who are used to going out all the time and used to doing things all the time. Like it really sucks being without a job. It really sucks doing online school. And a lot of the universities out here are not refunding room and board for the people who are not using those services anymore. I can understand, like sometimes the room are prorated um, and sometimes students pay by semester or they pay by month. So like for a lot of people, like that extra two or three thousand dollars could help them out a lot. And the universities are not refunding. Some of them are giving credit to certain students um, and then some of them are not. Like it's just one of those things where it really sucks, but I know we'll get through it and we'll be better off than we were before. Hey vlog, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today is my mom's birthday. It's hard because we wanted to take her to Benny Hanna's today and we can't because the restaurant's only doing pickup. Um, last week I took her to get her nails done, but right now I am going to go get some gas at Costco and we're going to see how low the gas prices are here. I said to see what the gas price is because normally for my gas tank it costs like $60 when gas is like at normal price. So if I could get it for cheaper, I am not complaining. I'm a very happy camper, so. Oh shit, it's $1.99. That's dope. Okay, cool, works for me. So I'm gonna go and fill up my gas tank really quick, and then we are going to go to the store to go and get my mom's birthday cake, so. I'm really happy because I thought it would cost like $30 or $40 to fill up my tank. I had half a tank of gas left. Normally that cost me like $30, 30 to 40. And it cost me $15.70. And 
and I'm living for that. Like, I, that actually makes me so happy. But right now, um, I think I'm gonna head to Walmart to go and get her cake. I'm really happy. I haven't been out of the house all day today, so now I'm gonna suit up to go into Walmart. So this is what I have to do now because I'm at high risk of getting this coronavirus. It's time to whip out this bad boy. Freaking sucks because every time I wear this thing, people always give me such dirty looks. Okay. Ugh. This whole process takes forever. Jesus Christ. Everybody and their mothers in Walmart. Thank God I'm just getting painted. I just bought my mom the cake. It is right down there. Don't know if you can see it. Um, it's really cute. I didn't get a big cake because we're not, like, my mom's not a very big cake person. So I didn't get a very big cake. I might go back and get some cheesecake because I know she really likes cheesecake. Um, I just couldn't find, like, a good one when I was there. So, and then I'm going to go and get her some balloons. Picked up some balloons. I just wanted to say to all the high school freshmen, all the high school seniors college seniors college freshmen i'm really sorry about like what's happening to your freshman and your senior year so a lot of these kids that are seniors this year will not get to walk at graduation and like like some to some people it's not really that big of a deal but to me it is because it's kind of putting like the cherry on top of the ice cream that's kind of like the last big hurrah before you leave high school it's like i don't know how i would deal with that so props to anyone who is going through that right now because it really does suck. I'm sending you all my love, all my energy because like that shit sucks. And no one should ever have to go through not being able to walk at graduation because of the pandemic. And then same thing with prom. Like I feel bad for all the seniors who didn't get a prom like at all because I know a lot of my friends didn't go to junior prom. They only went to senior prom. And like, I know some other kids are in the same boat feel bad that these kids were not able to get a prom that made my senior year going to prom and like although it didn't go as planned I still had such a good time and like I couldn't complain you know I would be so upset if like if I was a senior in college and they told me I couldn't walk to graduation because of the coronavirus like I would be so upset but like at the same time I'd understand because they're trying to keep everyone safe but it still sucks because you put in all that work and like walking on graduation is just like that little cherry on top, you know? Happy birthday to you! So cha, worry about cha, that later. Happy birthday to you! Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday dear, dear mom! Y'all sound like why not? Blow like you never blown before. Yeah. Hey vlog, welcome back. Um, so I just wanted to do a little bit of an update. Um, I just got done filming TikToks because I was a little bit bored of doing homework in the house and I was like, you know what? I want to get pretty today and I want to go outside and do TikToks. Ever since this quarantine thing started, I'm like an unofficial but official quarantine because I live in a Hispanic household. So like I got to listen to my mom or she'll kick my butt before like the whole quarantine thing I didn't really care for TikTok that much but then I just got so bored one day and I just downloaded it and I winded up liking it so I started making TikToks and it's been very interesting so far. My update for the day is that our governor just declared a stay at home um, quarantine so we're not allowed to leave our house anymore as of tomorrow um, and we're probably gonna have a curfew put in place for us because of everything that's going on but with the severity of the cases um, I think it's a good thing that he did a stay-at-home order because if not it would have just kept spreading and it would have gotten way worse and as it is I think they said this morning we have a, over 1100 cases in Arizona we don't know the actual true numbers yet because not everyone has been tested for the coronavirus and apparently now there's several strands not just two apparently now there's several strands of the coronavirus but we shall find out I'm actually going to Dutch Bros right now. 
I'm in line, so I will be back. Hey vlog, it's a new day, um, and today I'm going to go to Walmart. We have to pick up a couple of things for the house. Um, but yeah, I'm almost at Walmart, so I'll be there in literally like two seconds. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the line for toilet paper. I never thought there would be a day where I'd actually see people waiting for fucking toilet paper. Kind of speechless by that, but whatever.